I'm Dave Glazer. I'm a personal trainer, TikTok creator, and founder of Dave Glazer Coaching. After a couple of breakups in 2017, I became obsessed with understanding relationships, the way people connect. And along this journey, I've created a life and podcast dedicated to lifelong learning and exploring how we communicate with each other through modern dating, text messaging, social media, and dating apps. This podcast brings the industry's top experts in relationship, best-selling authors, speakers, and real-life daters. We discuss the struggles, the celebrations, the fears we face, and all the wonder that relationships can bring into our lives. Please subscribe to the podcast and connect with me on Instagram and TikTok to take a candid look into modern dating. Welcome to the podcast, everyone. This is Dave in Denver. I'm an authentic dating and relationship coach, passionate about helping my clients connect their mind with their body so that they can trust their intuition as they're out there navigating modern dating. We have an audience question that I wanted to get to today. Uh, an audience member on TikTok submitted this question over TikTok Live, and I really wanted to expand on it. So here's a little bit of context. Hey, Dave, I met a person at church. We exchanged numbers. He walked me to my car, and we text occasionally. How do you feel about the woman making the move for a first date? A little bit of background, Dave. My birthday is coming up, and I would really like this person to ask me out and take me out and make me feel special for my birthday. Huge question, and I truly appreciate the submission as we went live on TikTok last week. And my quick answer is fuck yes. If you want something, go for it. If you are confronted by reaching out to somebody and asking them out on a date or uh, being obvious when it comes to showing signs that you're interested in that person asking you out, then that's the place to look. That's the place that I want you to spend time is where do you feel the resistance and where do you feel the hesitation when it comes to the point of you wanting to ask somebody out enjoy spending time with them. So far, the texting and the flirting and the interactions at church have been fine, and you would like to learn more. I say go for it 100% of the time. Now, how we go about that is a little bit different. Um, it sounds as if church is really a, an authentic place where you like to show up and you're open to meeting somebody there, and it's actually happened. He walked you to your car and you exchange numbers. He texts occasionally, but he's not taking the initiative to ask you out. And I can understand how that would be completely, um, maybe a little bit confusing. You're receiving mixed signals, but also you're interested in pursuing um, this person as well. So how do we go about that? Well, there's a lot of ways that the feminine can show up and let the masculine know that they're interested. One of the first ways I like to do that or like to encourage my clients to do that is to get playful. In what way can you uh, text or in person flirt with this person in a playful way. And I think on the live conversation, when this question was submitted, I recommended that you, you, you use some phrase like, hey, are you going to ask me out yet? Or are you going to ask me out already? And you're labeling it and you're displaying that you're interested, but you're doing it in a playful way. And when you say things with a smile, it's almost guaranteed that you're going to be able to quote unquote, get away with it. Like you might be able to um, hide a little bit of vulnerability or maybe not put yourself out there fully when you're being playful and you say things with a smile, maybe a little wink, some eye contact. And using a simple phrase like that is like, hey, I'm challenging the masculine to either step up or step out. And if the feminine is showing interest in that way, in that playful way, in that, hey, look over here, I want you to take the lead and ask me out for my birthday. Speaking of which, what is it that's so important about you wanting to be feeling special around your birthday? That's another question that I would like to kind of explore a little bit more. And what comes up for me initially is maybe a sense of seeking validation in somebody else asking you out for your birthday. I love my birthday. I absolutely love planning things around my birthday. Typically, I just plan a friend's barbecue so that it is low pressure, uh, low investment, come as you want, uh, leave as you want, and there's no pressure, but it's generally like a potluck style. So if you really want to see this person outside of church and you're not wanting to take the initiative of full on going on and saying like, hey, what are you doing this Friday? I'd love to, I'd love to go out to dinner 
what are your plans? If you would rather take a step back and let the masculine lead, or you be in your feminine energy, then I would completely recommend planning something like a friend's event where you can invite multiple people to, and then engage and connect more deeply in person uh, with the particular person that you're interested in so that you can flirt and be playful in person. And then either that person is going to step up or step out of the way so that you can connect with somebody that is actually going to take the lead, ask you out, name a time and a place, and then you can go from there. Again, thank you so very much for the submission uh, on TikTok Live. I wanted to expand on it a little bit here on the podcast. And if you do not follow me on TikTok, please do so at Dave.Glazer or on Instagram at Coach Dave Glazer. And as always, this is Dave in Denver, wishing you health and happiness wherever you're at in the world. If you would like your questions answered on the podcast, please don't hesitate to message me on Instagram or on TikTok, and I'll go a little bit deeper into my answers than I'm able to on social media.